In this video, we take a look at the testing phase of the software development lifecycle. Although with the traditional software development lifecycle, the testing phase is considered to happen towards the end, after implementation, it is of course carried out at every stage of the development process. Now there are many different forms of testing, and they generally occur in order as the system develops. Unit testing, modular testing, subsystem testing, system testing, and finally acceptance testing. The earlier phases of testing will make sure the system and its various components behave correctly with normal boundary and erroneous data. The final phase of testing is needed to ensure the system meets the specification. Most testing types, especially the later ones, will heavily involve the end users. Acceptance testing has three main objectives. To check that the system meets the original client's requirements. To find out if the client will need to make any major changes to operating procedures. And to actually test if the system will run in the target environment. As with every other phase of the software development lifecycle looked at so far, the testing phase is an ongoing and iterative process. 